this video, I'm going to be going over how to rank up super fast in Fortnite Chapter 5, as well as how to use rank as a tool to get better and improve in Fortnite. This video is going to include all the best gameplay tips, strategies, and even secret methods that you guys can implement into your games to make you rank up the fastest and hit on real fast. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys are using code DISC in your Fortnite item shop and hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and found this video helpful. It means the world to me. Firstly, I'm going to be talking about the best game mode that you should be utilizing every single day to rank up the fastest, as this is going to be the by far the easiest lobby so you can get more kills and more wins, allowing you to rank up faster. And that mode is simply going to be trios, but I would 100% only play trio rank if you have a good squad for it. And that pretty much goes with any other game modes such as squads, duos, or solos. You want to play the mode that you have the most stacked team with, especially in trios, because in trio lobbies, for whatever reason, there's a lot of worse players in there. So if you and two and your friends who are absolute demons queue up together in trios, you guys are going to absolutely destroy the lobby, getting not only a lot of kills, but almost a free win every single game that you guys play, which is going to allow you to rank up the fastest. But like I said, if you only have a duo or a squad, then definitely do whatever mode you have the best team for, as it will help you rank up the fastest. And the worst possible mode that you should avoid at all times is definitely going to be solos. Solos is by far the most toxic and sweatiest mode there is. Take it from me because I've literally hit Unreal three different times in all solos, and it literally takes forever, especially if you're on higher ping. Anything above 30, you're pretty much just going to get clapped by anyone who's on zero ping every single time, which is why any other MOBA solos is the best. Next, I'm going to be talking about early game and where you need to land, as well as how to properly set yourself up for end game so you can maximize the amount of percentage that you get every single game. Early game, in my opinion, is the most important time where you really need to lock in because dying off spawn can be absolutely detrimental to your rank journey as you're going to go down tons of percentage, which is probably going to full tilt you and you're just going to spiral downward every single game, making you lose a ton of percentage and making no progress. Now, if you're serious about ranking up, you're probably wondering where should I drop? And I would highly recommend that you, if you're a solo or your entire team, land somewhere on the outside of the map. As obviously in chapter five, placement matters way more than kills. And what this is going to allow you to do by landing somewhere on the outside of the map is going to allow you to get max materials and insane loadout and full shields, setting you up for in game perfectly, all while still getting placement percentage. Also, if you didn't know in chapter five, kills late game mean way more than kills early game, which is why I recommend anyone to just play placement until you're about top 20, top 25. Then I will start looking for kills here and there, especially when you're top 10. If you do that and win the game, you're going to go up a ton of percentage depending on what rank you're in. You can go up anywhere from 20 to 50 percent, which is just absolutely insane to your rank journey. Now, obviously, the kills all spawn are going to help you get that little bit of percentage, but they're not going to be anywhere near as helpful as the kills late game, which is why I recommend you and your duo or whoever you're playing with land somewhere on the outside of the map, get fully looted up, have max materials, max shield, and get set for the rest of the game. But on the other hand, if you're a confident player and want to land in a hot shot POI and get a lot of kills, that is obviously going to skyrocket your potential and your progress while trying to reach Unreal in Fortnite. As I said, I would only recommend this if you know you're that guy and you can land anywhere and clear it out no problem. But the majority of Fortnite players are just simply not there yet or something like ping holds them back, which is why you have to play the game strategically if you want to rank up, especially in rank. And another topic I want to bring up really quick is the medallion. Now, this is one of the, if not the biggest changes that has been introduced in Fortnite Chapter 5. And they're super overpowered, so much overpowered that you can literally carry white heels if you have two or more medallions as they were nerfed a little bit since the start of the season. But if you and you do both have medallions, then one of you can carry shield while other carries white. And it makes fighting people that much easier because you're always going to have the health advantage. Unless you get popped for a good amount of damage, then you can easily box up, heal, and get shield at the same exact time. Moving on to the secrets of rank to get a little extra percentage, you guys are going to want to complete your match quest off spawn. That's simply those three quests on the left hand side of your screen every time you load into a game right before the bus launches. Now, I've heard completing these match quests will give you a little bit of percentage boost, but I'm not too sure. Take that with a grain of salt, but I'm pretty sure it works because every single time I would do it, I would go up an insane percent no matter if I was elite champion. It didn't matter. I would always make sure I try to get those match quests done. And another secret percentage tip that I'm going to share with you guys is securing the island when it spawns in will give you a little extra percentage as well. As it doesn't spawn until late game and four day will probably think you're fighting once that flag finally pops, giving you that little bit of extra percentage, which means a lot as Fortnite made it way harder to rank up this season than any other season before. Which actually brings me to another topic that I wanted to mention in this video, which is how to use ranked as a tool to improve at the game in general. So a lot of people that play ranked really don't use their brains when playing and all they do is camp in bushes, cars, or use bush camp stash strategies to get unreal. And while it may be fun to be unreal, if you are a diamond caliber player that got to unreal just by camping, if you try to ever play a game normally in ranked, you're just going to end up getting torched every single time because you didn't earn unreal the right way by grinding and using calculated aggression instead of just camping the entire game. When you're playing ranked, you should also have a goal in mind, which is to work on the individual weaknesses you have. And everybody's weaknesses are going to be different. For controller players, it's probably box fighting and taking the right peak. For keyboard players, it could be anything such as rotating correctly, hitting your shots more, or all of the above. So these are also some of the key things that you guys need to be thinking about when you're playing ranked. Now, obviously, don't W key everyone you see, but also don't be afraid to fight. If someone wants to contest you and you feel like you can definitely take them, all you guys have to do is watch your Mac counts, watch out for third parties, and play the fight with 
calculated aggression and you should win almost every single time if not you can take that fight look at what you did wrong and improve upon it the next game which actually brings me into my next topic which is learning when to take fights and how to play correctly for specific fights in the game now obviously you don't want to camp all game and avoid fights at all costs you basically want to fight when it benefits you in any way such as getting better positioning on the map a full refresh of mats or just better loot in general especially if you have a sniper can get that early chip damage on your opponent this gives you the automatic health advantage over your opponent allow you to easily get way more aggressive to push them and finish off the kill so you can get a full refresh or just better positioning on the map now if you're going to do this strategy and play for fights in solo rank then i would recommend to only fight people on dead side of the zone which is the part of the zone that no one's going to be rotating into so this absolutely minimizes the chances of you getting third partied as everyone knows that solo ranked is nothing but a third party fest and usually the people that are playing on the edge of the zone or the dead side of the zone are not going to be that good anyway because one they're already scared to take fights because they're trying to rank up and they're probably going to get nervous as soon as they get shot at and everyone knows you play way worse when you're playing nervous so that should be a free kill for you especially if you get some solid chip damage on your opponent but as i said earlier in the video if you guys are already insane at fighting then you can obviously go into like a crowd of poi but you guys have to understand that people are going to play like absolute freaks in solo ranked and the possibility of you getting third party sniped or something like that goes up drastically if you land in one of those crowded pois that's why i highly recommend if you guys are serious about ranking up you land on the, somewhere on the outside of the map and only push people who are on the dead side of the zone another good method i see a lot of people doing is they get a lot of kills early game and then they get full looted up and just play placement for the end game as they already have the kills now this is also a great strategy but if you can get two to four more kills in that end game you were going to go up an insane amount of percentage after you already got the kills early game as well which actually brings me to my next topic and that's getting third party kills so with the lack of siphon in the previous seasons third party has went up drastically especially at the start of the game as it's one of the best ways to secure some extra percentage because when most people's fighting out spawn they're going to be super weak as they're not going to have full kits because most of the people that fight instantly off spawn are going to be super weak one because they don't have a loadout and even if they do i guarantee you they don't have a lot of mats and like i said earlier if you are one of the people who are going to land at a contested poi then i highly recommend you guys land on the outside of that poi so for example if you guys land at reckless railways land on the outside as most people are going to start fighting towards the center of the poi allowing you to get that extra time to get more shields more materials better loot and you can promptly swoop in get one to two kills and get out of there if you want or you can try to continue fighting which i highly do not recommend because then yourself are probably going to get third party from someone who landed on the outside of the poi and now i'm going to play a rank game but i'm going to chop it up really fast so you guys can just get the basics of what i do now first things first you guys are going to notice my match quest and usually you want to look for the easiest one so for me i'm going to go ahead and choose deal damage to players from above that should be pretty easy we're going to go ahead and choose that as a match quest just to try to get that extra percentage and now that i jumped out of the bush as you guys can see i'm landing somewhere on the outskirts of the map and what this is going to simply allow me to do is get matted up full shields full loadout and i can pretty much be set for end game while not fighting anyone off spawn and if you guys take a look at my top left i am on a very hype ping as well and i played unreal four different times twice on my main account and builds and zero builds as well as twice on my alt account and builds as well as zero builds again now first things first all i'm simply trying to do is get full shields get looted up get max materials and honestly i really like this draw spot right here as you can hire an npc as well as buy a lot of things from him and there's max metal with these crates which is a huge advantage so i'm gonna go ahead and hire the npc and try my best to get set for the rest of the game by getting mats and loot etc now once you guys are fully looted up such as me and you have max materials and a strong loadout as you can see this is my loadout coming out of that little job spot right over there what i recommend you guys doing is finding the dead side of the zone which is the side of the zone that no one's gonna be fighting at which in my case is gonna be right around here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mark this and go to it and just play for end game now once you get to your designated spot as you can see what you simply want to do is repeat the same process over and over of going dead side until you're about top 10 which is where the kills are going to give you the most percentage and now i see that the island is spawning in right here so what i'm going to try to do is maybe attempt to go get it but i'm not too sure if it gets too contested i'm going to go ahead and dip and play my life for end game but obviously securing the island will give me a ton of percentage as well oh, it looks like there's someone already getting in it looks like he does have a medallion as well GG's, GG's, bro. That's a free kill right there in top 10. So that's going to give me a lot of percentage. Yeah, that's the thing, bro. That guy was on hard zero and I'm on 30 right now, which is insane. That means pretty much everyone else is on zero unless they have bad ping just like me. Now, ideally, you don't want to die like that was just one kill. But listen, it was four in the morning and your boy was so chalked. But obviously, try your best to win the game with at least five to six kills. And you will go up an insane amount of percentage. And that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure you guys comment hashtag this to one mil if you guys have made it this far in the video. Because that lets me know who my real fans are by watching my videos all the way through. It really means the world to me, guys. Subscribe if you guys are new and peace.